what would a zero hour episode be without at least one rant against uh, the misuse of new technology? You know, uh, it, it could easily be misconstrued that somehow I have an opposition to new tech. Far from it. I've worked in the tech field. I'm extremely interested in new technology. I think it can do wonderful things, but also maybe because of a certain familiarity with it, uh, I know how it can be misused. And certainly we, we've had very knowledgeable guests on this program and will continue to have who understand uh, even uh, much better than I the ways in which tech can be helpful or abused. Now, along those lines, uh, interesting story this week from Business Insider. A French retailer has started using overhead strip lights to track the movements of customers and then send specialized advertising and sales offers to their iPhones. Now, why is this a bad thing? After all, uh, this system only uh, sends you these emails and offers if you allow it to, if you voluntarily opt in. So let's, first of all, talk about what the system is. Uh, this is a, they call it a hypermarket. It is the famous French retailer I will probably uh, mispronounce the name, Carrefour. Uh, it tracks your movements. It beams data to your smartphone uh, using light pulses that are invisible to the naked eye and then guides you to the right shelves for special offers that may be tailored specifically to you and no one but you. As Business Insider says, it's the latest attempt to combine the online and real-world shopping experience, and as they note, that is regarded as the holy grail for the industry at the moment, the industry being retailing. Now, okay, uh, they go on to describe some other places where this is being done, including Britain's Marks and Spencer. Now, how can this be useful? Obviously, it can be useful if you go into a store and you're directed to special offers for things that, based on past experience, uh, you, it knows, the system knows, you really want. Okay, that's good. Makes for more efficient shopping. Everybody wins. You get the product you want. They sell a product. No problem there. That is free enterprise. That is uh, escalating the amount of information, reducing the friction needed for a fair market to work. Okay, so far, not so bad. How Ever. Um, what happens in many cases, as we're, we've already learned from analyses of the online retail world, is that some people are actually charged more for the same product than others based on their spending patterns in the past. This, in certain cases, has even been seen to harm lower income people, making them pay more for the same product. Now, I'm sorry, but I do not feel that in a fair mar market, and by the way, conservatives should be outraged about this because it is no longer a market system when there's one price for one customer and another price for another. It is a system in which data is being used to generate an unfair transaction between seller and buyer. That really, really bothers me. Now, it's a personal experiment this weekend. I went to Target. And I used their app, Cartwheel. I downloaded their app, Cartwheel. And Cartwheel uh, alerts you. You go to a product and you hold it up and scan the barcode. It tells you whether there's a uh, special offer or not. There was none. But as a result, Target knows more about me than it did before. Is that bad? Not necessarily, except we now know the reach and the extent to which the government is willing to access uh, private data as well. So the fact is, do I really want the government or for that matter, a syndicate of corporations knowing what products I'm looking at, what shelves I'm going to, where I linger, what clothing department strikes my fancy, whatever it might be? No. I have discomfort with that. We need rules of the road as a society and as a people to govern this sort of transaction. I'm Richard R.J. Eskow, and this is The Zero Hour.